What's up, everybody? It's Yigal here live again. I wanted to go live one more time before the weekend for you. And this has been an amazing day. I've had some coaching calls. Uh, one of our clients, uh, my brother, went live on Facebook today to do some sales, and he sold. Uh, we're working on that in the mastermind at the moment. And uh, if you can hear me and see me, just uh, post a comment. Say hello so I can see you. I, sorry that I know that you're here. And I want to talk about this, this comment that was made today to me earlier in the morning, which was flexibility is the gateway to complacency. And it was incredible. So give me one second. Had to clear the throat there. Hey, uh, John Julie Hopkins. Hey, Rob. What's up? Thanks for joining me. And I was in a conversation and we were talking about, you know, having processes and being dedicated and uh, being more structured than ever during these times. And a friend of mine said this to me and it blew my mind. They said, flexibility is the gateway to complacency, right? And when she said that, I wrote it down. I was like, whoa, that's amazing. And what that means is basically that in these times, if you become flexible, if you can just let things pass by and you're not, you know, you don't have that structure, you don't have a, a game plan for your business, you don't know the process and procedures, uh, you're not improving every single day, uh, you know, you don't have the discipline to do what you need to do in your business, that means you will become complacent. And sadly, I'm seeing pawnbrokers nationwide become more complacent than ever. And how am I seeing this? Because they're saying things like, oh, you know, you know, people aren't coming in, loans aren't happening. Or sales are slowing down. I don't know. I think I'm just going to close up shop. I don't know what I'm going to do. Or, you know, how are we going to make money this month? And they're, they're going to the scarcity mentality as opposed to thinking outside of the box. And in the mastermind, we've been able to uh, create ways to sell more online. We've been able to create ways to communicate better with, uh, with your team and with your clients which is doing incredibly well for a lot of people. And the main thing about this is that when you're part of a group who's rowing together, you speed up together. I was in a phone call with somebody who was asking about the mastermind today. And I said, you know, you've been in the business for four years or 10 years and you want to grow it. You can either take three years to learn how to grow it, or you can take a year in the mastermind be surrounded by some amazing people who are going to help you grow it to the next level, as as am I, of course. And uh, you can, you know, grow exponentially faster when you're with people who invest in themselves, people who are learning about leadership, marketing, strategy, as well as um, self development. And when you're in a group that's part of that, things become better. I know this because I'm a part of a, a group myself, two groups actually. Um, and it's just made me a way, way better person. So with that said, I want to go back to that flexibility is a gateway to complacency. Um, if you're watching this, where have you been complacent in your life? Where have you seen that you've been complacent? It could be your health. It could be your marriage. It could be a relationship with a, a loved one, like a parent or a, you know somebody. Um, it could be your business. It could be in the pawn department. It could be in, with your team. Where have you been complacent in your life? I want you to think about that. Because usually when you have complacency in one area, you have complacency in others. And what I mean by that is if you're just letting things, if you're saying yes to a lot of things and not getting them done, then you're really, you know, um, disappointing people. And you are making promises because you want to people please, but you're, you're not keeping the promises, you're not keeping your word to the best of your ability or to the best that you can do. How do I know this? Because I am a recovering people pleaser, right? Uh, some people go to AA meetings and they stand up and say, I am an alcoholic. I am a people pleaser, 100%. And I know this because I've done a lot of work on myself. And I know this because I, I used to say yes a lot before really thinking about it. And now when I say yes, I get it done. I, I, I do my best to finish what I've got to do to make it so that people don't see me as somebody that they can't depend on. So um, let's let's go. On. I like the scales of one to 10. If you're watching this, say hello. We've got John Julie uh, Hopkins in the house. Rob Barnett's in the house. Lisa Little, how are you? 
Israel, what's up, man? How you doing? And uh, Jose Velasquez as well. And so let me know. On a scale of 1 to 10, how complacent have you think you've gotten? And one area in the pawn industry especially is in fitness, like in health. A lot of people have become just complacent, um, especially nowadays with uh, the virus and people getting sick. I think more than ever, you've got to become healthy, right? You've got to, hey, Paul, let's pawn. Hey, Rachel, thanks for joining us. You've got to do as much as you can to lead your team, uh, not with the way you're running your business, but the way you're running your body, right? I'll never forget this. Um, I had an insurance agent come to sell me insurance one time. He came to the store. Uh, the poor guy was like 350 pounds, sweating profusely. And, um, you know, all I could think about it, and I felt bad thinking this way, but it was the truth is, how can this guy take care of my life insurance necessities or my necessities that I need for my family if he can't take care of himself? Now, I want you to think about that, Right? When people see you, you want to make sure that they know that you can take care of yourself because when you can take care of yourself, then you can take care of other people. You can lead other people to a whole different level. Jose Velasquez said uh, seven. Thanks for sharing, Jose. I appreciate that, man. Um, Scott, sorry, what's up? Thanks for joining in. So really know that when, you know, processes are very, very important when it comes to morning routine. That's why, again, I've got the pond planner uh, for working out, for your business. you got to have processes. So many pond brokers just open the door and go into their business and don't have a process, a system, a way of doing things, right? And I'm not talking about like jewelry counting or uh, counting the, um, the cash in the drawer or I'm talking about like process and procedures so that you can go in every single day, go to battle and win that battle. Because if you don't, you just don't have any clarity. And when you don't have clarity, your team doesn't have clarity. And when you don't have clarity, you have more flexibility. And the flexibility is that gateway to complacency. So let me know what you think about this. Um, let me know uh, what this is, what you're getting out of this. Let me know what you're hearing from this. Um, what's one area of your life that you know that you need to attack because you've been a little bit of complacent. So put that in the chat box. What's one area of your life that you know that you've been complacent that you really, really need to attack? And there's no judgment here, right? If you're watching this, absolutely no judgment on my end or anybody else's, there shouldn't be, because we all have something, right? We all have something where we've been complacent on and and it's, it's something that we all have to work on. So uh, think about that over the weekend. Think about... Um, really attacking what that is because when you attack that, you become a better leader, you become a better palm broker, your business will grow. And especially in these times, you will lead your team through these times, you will lead your family through these times um, so that when we all know when the boom comes for the pawn shops and it's, it's already here, right? You will be prepared because ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna tell you something. If you don't implement process, procedure, strategy, leadership, marketing right now, if you're not learning how to do that, when your stores get packed with people needing money, sales, your team will break and you will not know how to put it together. Lisa Little says, not holding employees accountable. Thank you for sharing that, Lisa. Appreciate that. Um, so who else? Uh, you know, if you're not, so Rachel says 100% my health. The balance is always my challenge. I'm either all work or all workout. Love it. And we'll get you to uh, to be 100% of both with, with with being able to relax as well and have some time for yourself. So where else? There's a lot. Of, there's there's more than uh, 13 people on this on this live at the moment. Where else? Don't be afraid. Be courageous. Where else are you complacent in your life? Where are you complacent in your life? Share that because when you put it in writing, when you share it out the, into the world, it becomes real. And when it becomes real, you've got to take action as opposed to just keeping it in your head. So Melinda says, worrying about everyone and not taking care of me. Yes, you're not alone in that, Melinda. Um, you've got to make sure that you take care of yourself first. You know, on the planes, they say, put your oxygen mask on first, right? Why is that? Because if you're not healthy, if you're not breathing oxygen, uh, you're not going to get oxygen or you're not going to be able to help 
anybody else for that matter, right? So if you want to share, um, so Stan says, I'm with Melinda. What's up, brother? Good to see you. Um, so you've got to take care of yourself and your health first. I know a lot of times that we do this to leave a legacy, right? We, we do this to leave money, uh, properties, gold, whatever it is to our spouses and to our kids. But like my father, you know, he got sick at 58. And I would give all of that back just to have my father healthy. All that money, all that success he's had in the pawn shops, I would give all that stuff back, right? Um, Jose Velasquez says, spending more time with kids. Man, so important. I just talked about that with my father, right? I wish my father spent more time with us as opposed to just working so hard because the kid's not going to know if you have a Rolex or a Folex on your wrist. They're going to know when did dad come home to play, right? Uh, Scott Sawyer says, getting items posted online, I tend to blow it off instead of getting it done. Well said, man. Well said. This is the age of this, Facebook Lives and Instagram Lives and if you're not doing it, you're just going to get left in the dust. And that's the truth. If you don't have the right process and procedures in place, you're going to get left in the dust. If you're not leading, if you're not studying leadership and learning leadership and have a group behind you, like the mastermind, you, you might get left in the dust. And a lot of people think about you know an investment in themselves as expensive. Let's take it on the medical side. If you don't invest yourself in yourself and your health today, you will pay more for your health later on. If you guys agree with me, write yes uh, in the comments section. If you don't invest in yourself today, it's going to cost you more in doctors and doctor's visits and medications. And I don't care if it's Medicare, Medi-Cal, all that stuff that you have, it's just going to cost you more money. And it's the same with yourself. If you don't invest in yourself, in your leadership, in your marketing skills, in your strategic skills, it's going to cost you more when your competition has done that when others in your city have done that, because you've decided, right, that it, that investing in yourself is too expensive or investing in yourself, I just can't do that right now. This is the time to invest in yourself. This isn't the time to retreat or go into isolation. This is the time to attack what you don't know because you've got some time at the moment to learn it, to be great at it, and be able to take it to the next level, Right? If I don't invest in upkeeping my garden, I'm just going to get weeds, right? If I just, oh, it's too expensive to invest in my garden right now, what's going to happen afterward? It's going to cost way more money and way more time and way more effort to be able to get that garden clean. And this is what we talk about in the mastermind consistently. And when I talk about, um, you know, where we talk about, so many other things. And Stan says, Stan's a mastermind member. Thanks, brother. Says, mastermind is where I vent the good, the bad, and the ugly with no judgment, 100%. Right? And it's so important to have that space. It's so important to be able to learn consistently and have people who hold you accountable to that learning. Because if you're sitting in your shop, no one's holding you accountable. Nobody. And we know if you listen to the podcast, those who are successful have had mentors and coaches. And you know, I'm getting on this call because I want to give you as much value as possible. And at the same time, I know the beauty of, of the mastermind. And some people just say like, oh, I just don't want to invest in myself at this time or I'm not ready, right? All it's going to do, all it's going to become, it's going to become more expensive later on because you've been left in the dust. You know, what happens if you don't invest in yourself today? Think about that. What happens if you don't invest in yourself today? If you don't make that investment all in and say, I want to become the best leader, marketer, and strategist in this business, not just for my business, but for myself, my family, my spouse, my kids, whatever that is. What's that going to cost you later on? So take a moment and think about that. Um, I'm here for you, of course. And if you want to take, talk about the masterminds, shoot me a message and we'll jump on a Zoom call and I'll give you 30 minutes of strategy call and we'll talk about exactly you know, what it is, what it's about, how it works. And and um, we'll, we'll devise a game plan for you to be able to not just grow your business, but to be able to survive the times. Because in the mastermind, we're not just surviving. We're going to thrive these times, right? We're going to find better team members. We're going to sell more online. We're going to do so many more things while people are just surviving 
we're going to be thriving. Israel says, that's right, working on myself. I thought everyone was more important than me. I'm going to put this up here. That's a lot. That's awesome. Um, that I could take bullets just because it was the right thing to do. Now I'm learning responsibility at work and personal life to project it and be able to set the example to others. Yes. Well done, Israel. Well said. If you're stressed and have anxiety at work, guess what your team's going to have? There's no way around that. If you are a mess on your desk and if you're a mess at work, guess what your team's going to have? If you don't have process and procedures in place, your team's going to not have process and procedure in place. If you don't get held accountable at some point in your life, how can you hold your team accountable? Lisa, you were mentioning this, right? If you don't have an accountability, any accountability partners, groups, how can you expect to hold other people accountable? So um, check it, check out the, the – let's have a conversation. Uh, I'll let you guys go. I'm going to go pick up dinner for my family. Um, we'll talk soon. Have an amazing weekend. And uh, I'll probably do a community call again next week. I'll let you guys know. But uh, all the best. If you guys have any questions, please put it in the live chat. And if I don't answer them now, I'll, I will answer them later on. And uh, be well. Love you all. And I'll talk to you guys soon. And shout out to the Mastermind members.